So in this video, I want to talk about the relationship between Eyes and Bell. This is one of those relationships that I feel like, from an anime's perspective, I can understand why some people don't think the relationship as is something that's going to be in the end game. And I've spoken about it in a multitude of videos, but I'm not going to go that much deeply into it. And of course, this will not have any spoilers. But when you look at the recent parts of the Fertility Arc, or the Goddess of the Fertility Arc, and Bell's desire to be with eyes and the reasoning behind it is that deep desire to be by her side it isn't one of those where he wants to be above her or he wants to be in control or something like that he wants to be side by side her fighting against the same problems and that's why it always hurt him so much when you look at the previous arcs when she turned against the xenos because he wanted to protect them and yeah he turned against eyes he, he defended them which also shocked her as well because he truly believed that they were innocent and the fact is is that she started to see reasoning which again shows that she has a deep trust and understanding in the long term of what bell was trying to get across while she also has a deep hatred towards monsters because of the reasons that are explained in the side story volumes well more of her main story volumes which are never really delved into in the anime which is understandable because well that's a side story volume not part of the main story but the anime does have a tendency to kind of make her feel a little bit more one-dimensional now i've seen some comments where people say well how's that the case and how does it make hestia feel more relevant in the story and that really comes down to its focus it's like a lens they put a little bit more time every now and again a little bit more focus and especially adding certain things like focusing on assets if you get my general joke there that uh, the bubbly wobblies as i like to always joke about and so yeah you can understand why they did it from a marketing standpoint it was brilliant marketing it sold the anime very well it got people interested in Darmachi, but by doing so and taking some focus away from eyes it does hurt people understanding the relationship with, between bell and eyes which is also why the harem component always gets pushed but here's the thing in this recent arc one of the reasons why hestia and i'm sure some people understand this from the anime but i want to explain it a little bit more is that the reason why Hestia didn't want Eyes to see Bell is because, of course, everyone had their memories tampered with, and Eyes is, is no exception. The very idea of Bell going up to Eyes and saying, do you remember who I am, and her saying, who? Who are you? You're part of familiar, fra uh, f phrase, familiar, that would have shattered him. Absolutely shattered him. And Hestia knew that that was a possibility and didn't want to risk it because, well, her hope was that maybe there might be a plan to free Bell before he could break. Because what Freya was trying to do was slowly break his will down. That's why they were fighting him so hard and the training was so intense, was to slowly wear him out. And he states that in the anime where he's just getting to the point where he just wants to go to the goddess Freya and just kind of lay there and finally be in bliss because that was the only moment where he had peace because he just kept getting beaten down over and over and over again now do i think freya probably wanted it to be that intensive maybe not i mean she definitely probably wanted it to be intense enough to slowly wear him out and i think she was also getting very impatient but i do think some of them took those orders too extreme to the point where his life was at risk which is why some of the familiar members were stepping in and saying hey this is getting too far you're pushing it this is not quite fray what she wanted killing him was not the objective just weakening him wearing him down but not trying to put him to a life or death situation i think some of that also comes down to jealousy but also just them being frustrated because Frey is frustrated so then they take their frustration out on him because they're frustrated because she's frustrated which you'd, you'd kind of see this sort of obsessiveness that they have towards her which i think is extremely unhealthy how obsessive they are towards freya and then when bell finally sees eyes that moment he's just clinging to he's just hoping he's just like i just need to see her and see if it is real and then she just says that line that whole thing of you know do you want to train you want to go here you want to do this that was the instant moment he realized that those memories weren't false one person and technically, I shouldn't have remembered. 
Freya's power is very strong, but the bond between Eyes and Bell is just that strong. And that's what I've been trying to say for many videos, is that the relationship between Bell and Eyes is extremely strong. They do care for each other. They do have feelings for each other. It's just Eyes is not very good at getting her feelings across and even understanding her own feelings. In the side story volumes, her own familiar members point out that she's not very good at getting her feelings across. She kind of is very, like, she's very emotionless in her facial expressions sometimes, but sometimes she will show her expressions. But there are many moments where she doesn't really even understand her own feelings because of that sort of cold kind of mindset that she kind of has because it's always about the objective of getting in the dungeon and going deeper and deeper and deeper. But Belle is someone that she has a deep care for. She's just not very good at showing it. But what these are the moments in this anime and in this particular arc that show that there is something special between them. That's something that cannot be broken by some mind control or some tampering of memories. Their bond is much more much more stronger than a goddess. And that's the thing that I think the anime did well at, and I'm glad that it did it well, because there are many other components that I feel like were lacking. It's not a bad season, but it definitely lacks in some other areas, and I knew it would when it came to explaining Freya as a character, because Freya is not just some one-dimensional evil for the sake of evil. And that is something that I see a lot of, is where people just go, no, she's just evil for the sake of evil, and it's like, no. There's a lot more layers to her than meets the eye. And no, I'm not defending her actions, I'm simply explaining them. People need to understand the difference between explaining something and condoning something. Those are very two different words. And I know I have to say it all the time, but there are always some people that try and mix the two up. And that's the thing about a lot of these stories, is that I do feel like a lot of these stories have to be very blunt about explaining things. Where they have to shove, for example, romance components between Belle and Eyes, they have to shove it right in your face and be like, really, like, grabbing you by the shoulders and shaking, going, these two are in love, they're going to get together. And then people still go, huh? What? But my head cannon's cannon. Again. Yes, I love my Freya, I love my Hestia, I love some of the other girls that are chasing Belle. But, again, it's that situation of like, it, it's, a, it's a match, it's a race that we already know who is going to win. Everyone else is handicapped. No one else is going to be eyes. Even though she may have that expressionless face as she's running, she is still going to be the winner. And I'm more excited to see... And again, this is speculation for the future of the story. I am very excited, and it, no, it's not going to be spoilers, but I am excited to see where the story goes as far as their romance goes, how the author builds on that romance. Because I have spoken about some of my gripes about the future volumes, and with one of the new volumes coming out very, very, very soon, I'm looking forward to seeing more of their relationship being built up because it is something that needs to be done more and more and more if and when the story does get to its conclusion, which I've spoken about that in a separate video where I've said that the story is going to be much more longer than what people claimed it was going to be because they used the writer as their source, which, again, that is a very good source, saying the writer said this, but one of the things that I've learned about writers is that they are their own biggest contradiction when it comes to certain things like, oh, I'm only going to do 10 volumes, proceeds to do 20 volumes. Now, I'm not saying that's what the author said, I'm just using it as an example of being like, they say one thing and they kind of do the other. And in this case, the author kind of gave this idea that the story was going to be a little bit more of a shorter story, but has kind of expanded a lot more. And that's great. It clearly shows that they've got a lot of passion and joy in writing it. Unlike some other light novels that I've been talking about recently that I will be continuing to talk about in the future. So I enjoy Darmanchi even with its issues that I have as far as power creep goes, identity crisis, that kind of stuff. I still look forward to every single volume, reading every single volume and seeing what the author has to show for this story. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you like about Darmanchi? What do you think about the relationship between Bell and Eyes? What do you like about their relationship? And of course, check out my other volumes, my volume reviews, my character analysis videos, because I love talking about Darmanchi, and I love talking about other animes as well, like Mushoku Tensei, Moonlit Fantasy, Overlord, Shield Hero, uh, Alia sometimes has her feelings in Russian, <laughs> Spider, I'm just trying to name some of those volumes, so 
Again, if you want more light novel content, you want more character analysis content, and also High School DxE, can't forget High School DxE, check out my channel. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.